Hello and welcome to Star Trek is Life. In this video we will take a quick look at the Mind Scanner. So let's go ahead and get started. A Mind Scanner was a 23rd century Klingon interrogation machine that functioned as both a tool and a weapon, used for the sole purpose of being a truth finder. Though the Mind Scanner was thought to be somewhat drastic and effective, it was considered a more suitable alternative to such crude methods as drugs. The device was operated by reaching directly into the subject's mind and recording every thought and bit of knowledge within. Designed with variable settings which determine the amount of force used, it could be a mind sifter or a mind ripper to its subject. If too much force was used, it would cause brain damage, leaving the mind permanently emptied and the subject a mental vegetable. In 2267, while trapped on the Argania in the outbreak of the Federation Klingon War, Commander Kor, the military governor of the planet, set up a mind scanner in an extermination room at the Citadel that served as his headquarters. When Kor discovered James T. Kirk and Spock among his subjects, he ordered his lieutenant to have the Vulcan examine, warning that if it was revealed that Spock was lying about his true nature, he would die. Following his examination, it was revealed that Spock's mind was remarkably disciplined, even under the Force 4 setting, which was sufficiently capable of breaking down any pretense. Though unknown to the Klingons at the time, Vulcan mental disciplines were found to be more resistant to use of the mind scanner and allowed them to maintain a shield. Spock described the use of the mind scanner on him as an interesting experience. And while Kirk dismissed that it can't be all the terror they think it is, Spock told him that it should not be underestimated, stating that those without a highly disciplined mind were not protected. When it was later discovered that Spock and Bariner were responsible for the sabotage performed outside Kor's headquarters, Kor threatened to use the device on Bariner stating that he will be killed after he has the first-hand experience of our mind scanner. Until the Organian counselor Eilborn explained that there was no need to use the machine and that the two were in fact agents of Starfleet. Kor first attempted to coerce strategic information from Kirk the old-fashioned way by having a talk. But when Kirk refused, Kor threatened to explore the reason behind his ability to block the scanner through dissection. However, before Kor could carry out his threat, the conflict between the Klingons and the Federation was halted through intervention from the Organians. And that, my Star Trek of friends, is what a mind scanner is in the Star Trek universe. If you appreciate the information presented in this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. And remember, Star Trek is life.